Hey guys, it's Danish here, back. I've uh, just been sitting outside in the sun, and now on a, on a wooden chair, and now my ass is killing me. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'm forced leveled up, so Altaria didn't. Um, well, we'll just go ahead. Let's see, I'm sure there's meant to be some, uh, Cypher Peans soon. Oh, there they are. I'll knock you out of the way. <laughs> if, that's if that's possible by backing me. Usually security just grabs you and throws you out. These guys give you a chance. Pile of Swine and Deli Bird. Deli Bird is our next target. And of course, we're facing ice types with Altaria on the field. So I'm going to have to switch it out. To Typhlosion. Perfect. Same with the Thunder Wave first. Oh, there's Shadow Rush. Alright, Deli Bird's paralysed. Ah, oh, fuck Blizzard. Ah, that didn't do much there. I'm not going to take much damage either. Let's go for a Flame Meal. And let's go for a Thunder Shock. I, think a thun I don't think a Thunder Shock would be enough. Pilot winds down anyway. Who's this? Oh, a Glalie. Oh my god, that was too fucking close. I am not missing this opportunity. Lucky that wasn't a fucking critical. Ah, oh, you stubborn little bitch. He survived! Ah, oh, he's got Earthquake. Thank God, Deli Bird's a flying type. Doesn't affect Deli Bird. Used to tract. That is not helpful. Not at all helpful. I need Glalie out of the way. What the hell? This one is stubborn. Oh, piss off with Earthquake. Of course, he's faster than I am. Amphros is down. Typhlosion barely survived. Oh fuck, he's in Shadow Rush. I have to move straight into the Ultra Ball, otherwise I'm going to miss Deli Bird. I'd like to use Gust.
What the hell? What the actual hell? Oh, Glalie's down. Paralyzing can't move, thank Christ. What I need is to spam smoke screen. I want to save my Ultra Balls. Fuck! This one is really stubborn. There's Shadow Rush again. But it missed! Holy shit, that's lucky. The hell is it gonna take? Yes! That's fucking lucky. Jesus, this playthrough has been oozing luck. Thank Christ. And he's pissed off. I really need to level my guys up. I may need to repeat the same floor in Mount Battle once or twice. I'm gonna go do, go do that now. Actually, I better check how many um, how much money I got. No, no, no. PDA. A decent amount of money. Um, I better give Altaria the XP share. So, um, I'm just gonna go train my battle on on area six again. Um, so I'll cut to when I've completed that challenge, and we'll see where where we're at. So until then, um, Danish out for now. Hey guys, it's Danish here. Right, um, now what you missed, now I did go through Area 6 again. Ended up raising Altaria and Frost and Teflosion to 45. Espion number on hit 47, so that's pretty good. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do now is... Um, just concentrate on getting Espeon and Umbreon up to level 50 in Area 7. Oh, we're out of the Volcano. Fair enough. So let's begin Area 7. I believe they vary from levels 45 to 50. Not sure, though. We'll have to find out. Yanma and Masquerain. Okay. What are level 44? Oh, an Espeon and Psychic, by the way. I got rid of Confusion. Umbreon could have learned something. I can't remember what it was, but I didn't want it. I will use a PP up on Psychic. I'm going to need that. But I guess it doesn't matter. Cause I mean... Oh, wait, hang on. I reckon Yam has got lower defense. He survived! I am not happy face about this. 
I'm just in a decent mood now. It's the first time in about a week or so that I've had a decent night's sleep. No idea why I haven't been able to sleep recently. I did a bit more damage than I thought it would. So he uses Gust. Fuck him. Swift. Take that mask away and do a bit of damage to Yanma. And down goes Masquerade. I might redo this again. I'll redo this one or two times to get the others a bit of a higher level. Ooh, Sonic Boom. Not really much use against these guys now, especially Umbreon. 163 HP, that's pretty sweet. Ah, you dumbass. I was gonna, I would have slapped you, but you did it for me. I'm surprised Yanma doesn't seem to have speed boost. Oh, safeguard. Not really that much to worry about, really. I find this fairly surprising. Usually, they all pile on Espeon. Especially now that Umbreon can't do shit. <laughs> Shouldn't really survive. There we go. Lady on's down. Who's next? An Aria does. Perfect target for Espeon. If it doesn't twat itself. At least it's not power. At least they're not power fused. Everyone knows how horrific that is. Umbreon! Why you no attack? Right. Let's try again. Espeon's confused. But it managed to attack. Good. Usually Espeon's terrible at having confusion. Everyone has their off days, everyone has their on days. Now he's moving to Espeon. Still, he's been confused for like five turns. Tough fuck. At least now I can pile on Yanma. And Espeon hurt itself. Jesus, in this entire battle, only one, only twice. Have I been able to hit, though I'm confused? Um, Umbreon once, when I didn't even notice. Now it's snapped out, it's about time. Yammer's down. Bloody bug types. That's one down, nine to go. Oh fuck, it's a rich boy. I love how nobody is concerned about the fact that in the actual battle arena there's no railings and they're literally above the fucking cloud layer. Oh, this will be a problem. This will be a bit of a problem for Espeon. Dang, and Twisted Swoon plus Stab. I'll just pile one of them. Yeah, not much damage there. Faint attack should still do a decent amount of damage. There we go, Lunatone's down. A fucking dunce boss. Ah, oh, shit. His defences went up. 
I need a pile of soul rock now. I need to check, what did Umbreon try to learn? I can't remember. Uh, I know it wasn't mean luck, that was level 42. Oh, it was Screech! That's what it was, Screech. Which is odd. SPL named Psychic, Umbreon named Screech. Fuck. Is Rock Throw a double hit? No, it's not. Ah, oh, shit, one of them's paralyzed. SP on the Paralyze, that's not good at all. But it got synchronized. Ha! Umbreon's fastest! Down goes Soul Rock. A Sand Slash. This could be a bit of a problem. Sand Slash's defences are a bit above average, I think. Ah ha! Dunge Bass got fucked. Uh, Umbreon should be able to finish off Dunge Bass. Critical hit! Not really worth much XP, is it? Ah, oh, fucking Poison Sting. I didn't get poisoned. Didn't get frozen by paralysis either. Oh, Espion's so close leveling up. Researcher, I bet he's got electric types. It would not surprise me if he has tons of electric types. Remember what happened back in the fucking lab? I nearly got. Oh. Okay. Never mind then. I'll just keep my fucking mouth shut. I didn't expect that to one hit. I hope, but didn't expect it. Yay, level 48. Umbreon and Espeon don't learn a new attack until level 52, and that'll be um, Morning Sun and Moonlight. If I do get Morning Sun, I'm not sure what I'll get rid of. Swift or Reflect, both of which have saved my ass a few times. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm defense. I think it'll survive another faint attack. But I'll go for it anyway. See what happens. Well, it doesn't take much to take off uh, to take out a dust ox, does it? I'm a cargo. Take typhlosion over the cargo any day. Oh wow, it didn't survive. Yeah, the face that wasn't affected by iron defense. Or it has shit defense. I think I just went no damage there. The only attack he got in was iron defense. Yeah, so throughout these next these battles, I'll just main Espion and Embryon. May end up getting them over level 50. Look, looking at the rate their XP is going up, I think they're going to hit. They may even hit level 52. See if I can at least get everyone else to level 50. Give me a massive, massive boost. Ready for the next um, Cypher Admins. Don't forget we've got to rebattle them again. Our next target will be the. Be the old sumo saying. 
It's the, it's the um, unrevealed uh, Super Saiyan 5 transformation. Oh shit, this one's got speed boost, I'm sure of it. Sword stands. Oh wow, they're all faster than me. The rage. Mm, still not sure why the shadows are so pixelated. I think I needed that critical hit in case his attack went up. If you use rage and you get hit, your attack goes up. Jump off. Ooh, this is a massive, massive. Um, something they've really overlooked. If you notice, um, when it gets to a close up of Jump Bluff, look at its shadow. Look at its shadow now. It's just three squares. The shadow gets confused because um, those three. See, those three little cotton balls on its body are just polygons. And they forgot to um, change that in the shadow. So, yeah. Wait, again? I thought it was meant to have. Oh shit! Let's be on a, a massive energy drain. And they're, they're ganging up on Espion now. Jumpluff just barely survived. I think I'm gonna need to swap Espion out before he gets killed. Yeah, speed boost. Right, I'm gonna swap out for uh, Typhlosion. This is a battle Typhlosion cannot miss. It's just a bunch of grass types and bug types. And he's almost level 46 as well. I didn't really check. I'm not sure if um, Typhlosion, if, if anyone else has learned to move. I don't think they have. Altaria had the chance to learn something, but I can't remember what it was. I think that was about level 44. I'm gonna just check. Refresh, that, that's what it was. I'm level 45. I find I don't really need that. Typhlosion grew, that's good. A line oom. Fuck it, fire blast. Ah, oh, he's going new he's going leech seed again. He ain't getting away with that this time, little prick. Don't miss! Oh dear. Fuck, it was five hits. That's a rare occurrence. Either way, jump us down. Now I can just pile my noon. In the end, Umbreon always seems to be ahead in XP. Um, further than Espeon. One hit! And that's why I chose Typhlosion. You don't fuck with it. Though I do know there are quite a few better fire types, but I just fucking love Typhlosion. It's one of my favourites. Okay, there we go, that's all sorted. At least Typhlosion grew. Typhlosion? The fuck am I talking about? Typhlosion. Murkrow and Mistrevus. This is a massive, massive advantage for um, Umbreon. When it comes to Mistrevus, anyway, thinking about it, I just for I forgot Murkrow's part dark. Right, so I'm gonna have to go seek a power on Murkrow. Ooh, -hoo, special defense went down. Oh, that was decent. Ah, I really got confused. 
Oh dear. Ah, shit. Oh, taunt. That's not really a problem. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. That's very bad. Damn it, my table keeps making noises. Everyone's parish can't fell to three. Um, yeah, no. Fuck it, I'll switch out to Ampharos too. And he twi- he actually did quite a bit of damage to himself there. Haynes. Oh shit! That is cheating! Her song fell to two. I ain't letting you get away with that, you little prick. I will break you. Oh come on, that's the same damage as before. Taunt again. That's useless. I'm going to attack you anyway. No, Cybeam. That was a critical. I'm only a little bit worried because our pain split. Oh well, Miracle's down. Oh, Bayonet. I believe it has pressure. And down goes Mistrevis. Put up a fucking fight, I'll admit that. That's quite a clever way to heal yourself though with pain split. Ah shit. Sableye's got no weaknesses. Oh no, he used curse on Ampharos. But that may have just killed it. <laughs> Level 48 Bayonet. I just got a flashback of the fucking lead in third gen. Curse is quite deadly. I hate Fake Out. It just wastes time. I would have thought they'd put Curse on Tuflogion because he's nearly gone. Wow, without the fake out, Save by would have gone down there. Nice to see Tuflogion survive that. Speaking than anything? No, it's so a fucking gust. I need to get rid of that. I need another water move, but it literally isn't another water move until I hit level 71. 